So let's review quantum spin because quantum spin is a very important concept in quantum mechanics and really it has important concepts buried in it. So an electron can rotate around its axis. So if you see here, if the electron is rotating this way, the Z component is up. If the electron is rotating the opposite way, it will be down. So the Z component can have two values, up or down, up or down, and it's fixed in terms of the Planck's constant, which is H. It can be plus half or minus half. That's one of the peculiarities of quantum mechanics and the electron spin, that it's fixed. You see, usually if it's a ball, you can make it slow or you can make it faster, but electron spin, you cannot. It's like a fundamental property of the electron. Like, you know, electron carries plus uh, charge or minus charge. You cannot change the charge. Similarly, you cannot change the Z component of uh, quantum spin. Even more interesting will be, how do we add, if there are two electrons and we have two spins, how do we add them? Now, adding is simple usually, one plus one is two, but that does not happen in quantum mechanics. The, the reason is that these spins, they are not numbers, they are vector components. So you have to add them similarly. So, okay, let's add them. So what are the possibilities? Well, the electron one could have up spin, electron two could have up spin. So up and up, plus half and plus half. So Z component is plus one. <laughs> Similarly, the if uh, both are down, oh, this should be down, this is wrong. So if both are down, you have minus half and minus half is equal to minus one. Now the interesting part will be if this is up and the other one is down, so you'll say, well, it's up and down, will be zero. If this is down and this is up, then again, down, up, will be zero. These two states are wrong. The reason they are wrong is that you're assuming that you know that this is electron one and this is electron two. Well, you will say, obviously, we know that this is electron one and this is electron two. Now, the reason is that there is no difference between these two electrons. They're absolutely identical. And due to uncertainty principle, you have no idea which is electron one and which is electron two. They are undistinguishable. So these two states are not allowed. Instead, we have to combine them. So what we can say is either this is electron one and it has up uh, component and this is electron two or it this is electron one and this is electron two so this way you can combine so you can plus or you can make minus in both cases because the electron spins are opposite you get z component of zero now the important thing to remember is that this with a plus sign the total spin is still one and here the total spin is still zero this is the most confusing part where most people get stuck. How come this is spin one and this is spin, total spin is zero? So let's explore it further. So if the Z component, the Z component is also called a magnetic quantum number. It can take plus or minus values. The total spin quantum number does not take any plus or minus values. So in up-up state, where the Z component is plus one, the S is just one, there is no plus or minus sign here, and the total spin is given by this formula. So S underscore, underscore root S, S plus one, which obviously if S is one, it will go, give under square root two H as the uh, total answer. Similarly, with the down-down state, you will get minus uh, square root 2 as the answer. Here, you have 0 and this is 1, this is 0. So, how do we make sense of this thing? How are they different? I think the most important thing is to visualize them. Let's visualize them. Here, if you are adding two spins, 
spin one and spin two are added and in this up direction they make the total spin up so this y is plus one here in the minus d direction these two add and give minus c direction in this there's still addition however the addition is taking place not in the z direction but in some other direction say x direction so that's why the z component is zero but it's still getting combined in some other direction that's why the s is one total spin is one now in the minus case the z components are exactly opposite to each other so there is a total the z component is zero and s component is zero because in no other direction they are being combined so that's why these three states where the total spin quantum number is one they are called triplet states and this state where everything is zero is called a singlet state so that's the way to think about these states is to visualize them how they add up as vectors. Now obviously things get more complicated when you add more and more states. In fact, if you have four states, the total number of combinations given by two and raised to the power. This actually is the basis of quantum computing. That's why quantum computers have much more power because it's two to the end, the states increase exponentially. I hope you got some sense of how the quantum spin works. And if you want to know more about this subject, I've actually written a book on this subject on quantum mechanics and the link is available in the description of this video. Thank you for listening.